What's up, everybody? This is Techno Bus, and I got the boss here on Technos Gaming. Last second decision to go live. No plans, no agenda. I don't even know what we're going to talk about because I've been out of the loop for the last week and a half or so. But I, I you know, um, going through my little timeline in Twitter, in the Twitter world, I see a lot of uh, things going on. But still, I, I just kind of, you know, pass right by. I just scroll and continue on. But I do see a lot of things about PlayStation. It's just not, it's just not going well. But we'll get back to that later. Boss, I haven't talked to you in a while because I've been traveling a lot. How you been? I tell you what, I tell you what's going wrong with the plan for them. They need to get some fuzzy controllers. That's what's wrong. <laughs> Is that People, what it is? Yeah, they need to get some. They need to get some. Get some sort of sort of like furry controllers. So they are uh, so so that the user base can rub them all over their bodies. I'll that'll, that'll, that'll suit them. I saw I that'll saw that them. picture and and I kind of want it. I kind of want, <laughs> want it, man. My only Not thing is, how in the world are you gonna do? How are you gonna keep that thing clean? That's 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 my question. Yeah, it's like, yeah. dude, because everybody rub off really fast. Yeah, everybody's you know you know grippage has uh its own uh, level of sweat of sweatiness and. Yeah, it uh, starts yeah, madding right. together, and you know the the the, the smell. Uh, uh, never mind. <laughs> Look, <laughs> yeah. Like a wet dog, yeah, let's, huh? Let's, yeah, let's 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 move on. Let's let's get out of this territory. Well, <laughs> but um, like I said, but yeah, man, dude, so how, so how, oh, I'm sorry. I was just gonna, I was just going to ask you. So, how are you enjoying uh being out there on the out there on the slopes, doing your best your best interpretation of uh the, of uh shredders? The 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 best I can. Um. No, well, let me tell you. You got first, to get yeah. out there, dude. You got to meet. I, you got to meet the powder. You got to get out there, turn it radical. You got to shred the ice, melt it down, man. No, no, it's a. It's you got to get a. <laughs> you got to get a whole face full of it, like Al Capone with a whole table oh, of, it's of, of of coke. <laughs> no, it's. Uh, a, uh, <laughs> no, it's a. Uh, it's a lot of. It's uh, it's my first time out here. I've never been out here in this area before. Um. I never had any plans or kind of like desire to come up here. It's just, I just don't know anything about Idaho or this kind of region of the U S uh, but, but I had a chance to come up here for work. I'm here for work, but if anybody's been following my Twitter, it doesn't seem like I'm at work, but I am. <laughs> <laughs> so I got here, I got here Monday afternoon and I, I went straight to the office cause I got here really early and I can't check into the hotel anyways. So I went to the, the office here in Boise you know, and did my thing and got introduced to all the people that's that's there because a lot of people I just don't know in face to face. I just know them by video conference. And then um, and then after I was done, I came back to the hotel, got settled a little bit, got cleaned up a bit and walked around this downtown area, which is very quiet. But I think because it's it's still spring break so that, you know, they got the big college here, which I'll tell you a story about that in a second. And uh so everybody's on break. So all the, all the restaurants like really close up at like nine o'clock this at, at, you know, local time. So right now, a lot of places. You sure, places, you sure so you're in that type of town where, uh, <laughs> you sure you're not in that type of town where, you know, if you're like, you know, like a, like a, any other ethnic, 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 uh, group <laughs> that no, you no, shouldn't well, be letting the, you shouldn't be letting the sun go down on your back. <laughs> I, I know. I know. No, no. That's what I thought too. And, and, and somebody, one of my coworkers back in Dallas said, he's like, dude, you know you're surrounded by a bunch of old white dudes, right? And I'm like, I guess. I guess. <laughs> I guess. I guess. It's like, eh, well, you know, what do you do, man? This, watch. this is where they send me. It's it's on you know on work's dime. So but, yeah, super uh, one open, man. They're gonna tie. They're gonna <laughs> tie you. They're gonna tie your ass up to a stake and put you on the side of a mountain to sacrifice to the yeti. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> no. no, no, no. no. <laughs> So like, Monday night, I kind of walked around, went to a restaurant <laughs> to get something to eat. Really didn't do anything. Come back at a hotel, wake up the next morning. So yesterday, I was trying to leave really early because it was the you know by the end of the day it was going really slow, and I was like, man, I want to get out of here so I can go to the slopes, you know. And and one of the guys says, like, dude, you know they're open till ten o'clock tonight, right? And I was like, are they? It's like, yeah. I was like, all right. So I kind of hung around at work a little bit longer than than I wanted to, but I finally got out, hit the slopes. It takes 30 minutes or 40 minutes to get up the mountain. Finally got there. Did I uh, start, you know, got on my skis and everything. Started going up the slope. Uh, took my first couple of runs and, and did the little ones, the, the easy ones, because I just kind of get warmed up. Uh, just It's been a while since I skied. And then 
like on the third or fourth one, it's like, all right, I think I'm good. All right? I think I'm good. I'm warmed up. My legs are good. They're, they're ready to go. So I go on the same slope or the, the ski lift that takes you to the easy one and like the medium one. So you can go either way. And so I go, it's like, I'm going to go to the, to, to the medium one. So I, I go to medium and I'm like, holy shit, man, this medium is really steep, right? I look over and I'm like, God, damn. all right. I said, I'll go ahead and do it. Well, I have my gloves on. I have my little mounting chest for my GoPro. I like say, all right, I'm going to get this bad boy on film, right? So, but I had my gloves on. So when I pressed it, I thought I pressed the button to turn it on, but it never did anything, right? But I didn't realize this until, I, let me tell you this part, and, and I'll tell you, get to that part in a second. Um, I started going down. I started going to take the, the big uh, kind of turns to kind of give me, you know, slow, slow velocity. And dude, I ended up going straight and like super fast, right? And, and, I'm trying to cut. I'm trying to get like sideways so I can cut and slow down. And then it was no good, dude. I just went, whoosh, flew forward and just crashed, man, like bad, right? I go, it's like, oh, crap. I'm on the floor facing the ice, right? I was like, well, nothing's broken. And I look at my chest to see my GoPro <laughs> still attached. I was like, the GoPro's still there. I was like, all right. So let me look at the footage. Nothing. It was off. <laughs> I, I didn't capture it, man. And I was like, I am not going and doing that again. <laughs> I am not doing that again on that on that slope. So I ended up just stay, sticking on the on the easy one for the rest of the night. Did you did you have did you have like have like like little kids who are already like snowboarding and stuff like going past? Oh, you oh yeah, fast? yeah. The, like, the kids were like, hey, the kids were making me. Side, I, I, was, I was laughing over the kids because man, they just go and like rip it like it's nothing, right? And then, and if they fall down, man, they pop right up like really quick and like just keep on going, just keep on going. You know, my arm's a little red. I don't, you probably won't be able to tell, <laughs> but my this arm right here just they took the brunt of the fall, man. It was like all red and sore. And it's all a little bit better now, but still. But it was a little fun. And then today they took us out to to uh, out to eat at the office did, and then I got back early enough. And it's like you know what? There's a there's a there's a music festival happening like just a couple of blocks from me. So that's where I just came from, from the music festival, uh, just kind of walking around and checking things out. And uh, they're going to be up all night. So who knows how long I'm going to be, you know, be out there active. And then here I am when I got back, I'm like, you know what? I want to go live. And then here we are. And that's my story. Let's do sounds. It sounds like sounds like you're having a good. It sounds like you're having a gay ass time out there, man. You <laughs> a gay ass time. <laughs> <laughs> no, it sounds, it sounds like it sounds like it sounds like you're having having a blast out there. I actually have an old army buddy who actually yeah. uh, lives lives around around that way. But um, yeah. but yeah. So I mean, it's I don't, like I said. I don't think I don't think he does any 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 skiing or anything. You know, he just basically just you know keeps to keeps to himself. But yeah, yeah. that's it's good to get, it's good to you know get out, you know get out and do a do a do a few things that the locals do when you're when you're out of town and stuff. Yeah, I mean, why not? You know, it's like like every job I've had, I have enjoyed the moments that I've traveled for my job, and when I do, I I try to take, you know, when I get off, it's like all right, let's take advantage of this time before the sun goes down. I want to see some things before they close up or even just take pictures outside before the sun goes down. And, and I try to make the best of it. Some people say, Oh, you're going to Boise. What's in Boise. It's like, who cares? I'll find something, you know, I'll find something that, that that's fun. And sure enough, I did, you know, it's like, I always find something that's fun. No, when they, when they, when, you know, when, when they ask that question, you just answer potatoes. All right. <laughs> potatoes, <Rusted. laughs> potatoes. That's what mm -hmm. that's what uh, that's what my business is going out there. I'm getting them. I'm getting them straight out straight out the field. I'm gonna dig them up myself. You know those French fries you enjoy so much? Yeah, potatoes. potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> you know those curly fries you like so much? Yeah, potatoes. Yeah, Idaho baby. But, uh, but I had. But I had. Yep. Yeah. So all right, man. I'm gonna depend on you on this part. What is going on with PlayStation? It looks like they're crashing and burning once again, week after week. It's just there's there's no upside, no no light at the end of the tunnel for them right now. And Xbox right now is just on trajectory just to take off into space. 
I told you, man, fuzzy controllers. That's the problem. Fuzzy you controllers. Got, I mean, that's 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 what it is. I'm telling you, they get some fuzzy controllers going on, you know, to go with that, go with that, that, that tactile haptic, you know, <laughs> dual sense feedback stuff that everybody won't shut up about. And there you go, yeah. boom. You, you, you got it's like it's like you got it's like you got a Furby in your hands trying to fight trying to fight get loose from you. Furby with that hap, haptic haptic feature. <laughs> yeah, you know it's like you know it's like you it's like it's like you know like you got a gremlin or something in your hand like oh, my wife like oh, oh shit yeah. what's going on here yeah. why, why is he doing that <laughs> what's going yeah. on here? <laughs> yeah does it do I, that I, all I, the time I, like no nah, only with people that don't like you holding it too tight <laughs> holding too tight. <laughs> Let let loose let loose a little bit, right? <laughs> but yeah, yeah, but I mean, yeah, it's it's. I mean, I it's like they're, they're, oh man, dude, there's like a lot of news that's going on, and right now a whole bunch of it is flooding into my head at the moment. I mean, if you could mm-hmm. if you could pull up Twitter, I you know your, yourself real quick. Let well, actually, see. you on that laptop. Well, I'm on laptop. I can still share like an application. So let me see. Let me do. Twitter. Window yeah. Edge, Twitter. Okay, let's see if that works. I, I, there you go. I think I'm. I, I think I messed. Yeah, I think I messed up and crashed my Twitter. <laughs> okay, there you go. Yeah, so I don't Twitter think I'm supposed to close. Oh, yeah. Hey, what's up with these? Okay, I don't know what's going on here. Ooh, Whoa, there we go. Who's this? Who's that? Hi, I'm Devon. I'm a community. Oh, a community manager, Bethesda. What's up, girl? All right, let's move on. <laughs> oh. Oh Tuna yeah, everybody's doing this. Right? Everybody's doing this. Uh, this little uh, trend now. This is what what you gonna send it to me? Yeah, I've been playing. Yeah, I've been playing the heck out of it, man. It's the, see the thing. See the thing about it is, is like it's it 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 it, it, dece- it deceives the hell out of you. Um, at first when you look at it at a glance, to you it's like oh, it's this cutesy little fox, you know, running yeah. around, you know, doing his best. Uh oh, we lost you. We lost you, boss. I can't hear you unless it's me. Hold on a second. Hold on. Are you there? Can you hear me? I'm here now. Okay, I can hear yep. you. Yep. Okay, okay, so it's no, a little cutesy I, fox. Yeah, cutesy fox. I'm gonna. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna have to depend. I'm, I'm gonna have to depend on you because anytime I, you know, kind of like back oh. back out of this browser, yeah, yeah it, it yeah, it'll, right. um, yeah, Streamlabs gotcha. just the plug. I guess the plugin just dumps me. But right. yeah, so what I was trying to yeah, I was trying to say is right now, I guess a lot of the developers across the industry are good following this trend, saying this is what what game developers look like. So yeah. we're getting like a lot of interesting uh, pictures of different people in the industry right now, like this one right here that you, um, that you that you was just pulling up. What this girl? And um, <clears throat> yep, right there. Uh huh. So yeah, so yeah, that's so yeah, that's that's been going on. And um, but yeah, as far as like tuna goes, yeah, man, I've been I've been playing a lot of it and stuff, and um. It, it's it's real deceptive because you you know you think it's like it, it reminds you of a link to the past, yeah. and you know you got the little cute little fox. But when you start playing it and everything, you start realizing that you know, whoa, wait a minute, this thing has a little bit of a little bit of bite to it. <laughs> Is it you comparable just, to Death Death's Door? Uh, I'd be honest with you, I've never really got a chance to really get get deep in the Death's Door. I I, I sampled a little bit. And just haven't had a chance to get back to it, but yeah. yeah, I mean it's I mean you got your you know you got your little dodge roll mechanics going on and stuff, and yeah, you know a lot of, like some people I hear some people like argue back and forth when some people compare it to to like Dark Souls and stuff, and then people get <clears throat> get pissy and be like Everything it is not Dark Souls. Is Dark Souls comparable now for whatever reason? Yeah, but. <laughs> You know, I don't know. You know, I, I guess Elden, Elden Ring came out. Oh, Dark Souls, Tunic, Dark Souls. It's like, dude, it's like, okay, you like yeah, Dark if, Souls. What's going on, Rain? Yeah, if it ain't if if it ain't uh Dark Souls is being compared to Breath of the Wild, and but 
yeah, it's, it, you know, like I said, it's, it's kind of like it, it, it's you can't just rush into a lot of the, uh, you know, a lot of the combat and stuff, you know, without getting the timing right and stuff like that. And then I'm I'm hearing that there's actually a pairing, um, a parrying mechanic in there. Okay. I haven't. Yeah, I haven't discovered it yet for myself. And I know I could just Google it. But when it comes to games like this, that like kind of like, you know, bring me, you know, bring me back to that time of you know, coming home from school and sitting down in front of the, you know, the Genesis or the SNES, I'm usually one of those ones that's too stubborn to look up any sort of guides and stuff. I like to try to yeah. discover things on my own. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I try to do too. Yeah. But you, so, but yeah, you right. definitely can't you just, stuck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. Then, then you have to break out the map, but yeah. Yeah. I mean, yep. It's yeah. It's it's definitely it's it's definitely um. You're gonna, you're you know, gonna, you're gonna take out your pri your Prima guide, your Prima mm -hmm. guidebook. <laughs> My Nintendo you. Power. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. With Nestor. With Nestor. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you're old enough, to remember that. So yeah. Mm -hmm. So like I said, you know, if if uh, none of y'all in the chat played that yet, definitely get yeah yeah definitely get your hands on that. Try it out. Um. I bought I brought my computer my Xbox controller so I could hook it up here and play it on X Cloud, man. It's it's cloud ready. I just gotta need a, I just need to power it up and play it. So maybe tonight you can try it out. Yeah, definitely yeah, definitely. I mean I know you say that role playing isn't usually your your jam, but eh, I don't know, man. I think I think you I think you might like it. Yeah, I'll try. I've been looking forward to it. I just it just happened to release like like right when I was on vacation with, with the kids. And then I only had Sunday to get ready to come out here. So I, I haven't played anything like in two weeks. Man. I have to work. I have to work. Damn work. Always getting in the way. Just want to sit at home and do nothing. Scratch my balls. <laughs> uh, hold, hold on real quick. Yeah. But everybody in the chat room, we're right here live from Boise, Idaho. That's where I'm at right now for work. Sometimes I do some um, some skiing. If you've been following my Twitter, you'll see some pictures. Maybe I'm at a bar drinking with the locals saying, what's up? My name is Tech. I'm Technos Gaming. What's up, Boise? What's up? And that's uh, that's how that's how we roll. Well, that's how I roll up here. Maybe they don't like my rolling, but I don't care. Well, <laughs> yeah, I won't well, be here that much longer. <laughs> well, rolling down the snow slope. Rolling down. Literally, man. I, I heard something snap as I was falling. I was like, oh, shit. I just broke something. <laughs> tree branch. <laughs> I must have hit a tree, man. <laughs> I, <laughs> I just caused an avalanche. <laughs> I was yeah, like, how did, yeah. I, how did an avalanche start? <laughs> that, that dude from Texas over there, he fell down. <laughs> caused an right. avalanche. Man, that's kind of like the last thing <laughs> That's like the last thing you want to like look up the hill and see coming coming your way, because it because you you talking about you rusty with with skiing. I guarantee you become a pro right then and there trying to get away from that. I'll be I'll be <laughs> jumping the little hills, man, catching air like I got this. How'd you do it, man? I got that avalanche. I got to get away from. <laughs> but yeah, cool. but yeah, but moving along. But yeah, man, dude, this um uh, this these graphics that you're showing, uh. I believe oh, was, I, I believe those are uh, today. I think it was earlier today. Uh, they had the uh, the GDC conference going on, and um, Microsoft was there showing off of, showing off a few things. And uh, this is one of the, the discussions in regards to you know like basically you know how Game Pass is growing and still showing to be successful. Right. Um, I was having the. Uh, and a little discussion with one person and stuff like that when I was trying to explain to them that you can't really we see we ourselves we know we already know and understand the success of Game Pass and yeah. what it brings to the you know to the industry and to the brand and also also to us the users we understand that we comprehend that but of course you know as you know when you have the other camp. It's, there's, there's the other camp that always wants to kind of debunk everything and say, no, this is not true. This is what they want to tell you. As, yeah, and, as if they have the right information in their hands. Yeah, and so, you know, I had to try to explain to this to, to this guy that, 
you know, don't take this trying to use it as ammo, as ammunition for the, you know, for the console war. It's like, don't, it's like, dude, don't waste your time and your energy. Just, just don't. Because this, because in all honesty, this is not necessarily even for us. This is more for the investors or rather, you know, the potential investors as well as like the potential, you know, publishers and developers that are, you know, kind of like on the sidelines looking at Waiting. this and still, yeah. yeah, they still haven't pulled the trigger yet as to whether or not, you know, hey, maybe we should throw a few things on this game pass ourselves and see where it goes. They, you know, they're still trying to like figure out, you know, what to do with the, you know, you know, with their stock. So something like this right here, you know, really kind of like helps to like alleviate any sort of like worries that they have in regards to just going ahead and just, just jump, you know, just jumping into it and saying, all right, uh, let's work out. All right, Miss Bond, let's work out this deal. Um, we give you two years of this game for this amount. And um, also for the sales of the DLC and stuff. And so that's basically, that's basically really all it's for, you know, it's, it's good to see it, but yeah. it's just one of those things where it's like, you know, if you're looking to grab this and load it into your clip for the uh, for the cup for the console <laughs> war, it's yeah. You, yeah, don't don't wait, don't waste your time and your energy. It's I mean, time. be happy and be proud. Yeah, I just, mean, if it's not sales, it's exclusive. Uh -huh. If it's not exclusive, if games in general, if it's not games in general, it's Game Pass now. Oh, and, and dude, it game pass, it's like that it doesn't even a, matter. It's it's a never ending cycle with with some of these uh, people here that just always against anything when it comes to Xbox. You know. Oh yeah, man. It it, it doesn't anything. even matter. Yeah, it doesn't even matter if you if it sells because what because what is it now? It's like you know Xbox is is outselling uh, PS five in Europe, but yet you have a certain a certain foxy person over in the UK <laughs> who yeah. wants to go ahead and stir up the pot. But yet it's funny. It's funny. He posts what he did, but yet there's no charts. There's no pictures. Never. There's never. no link, no link, no nothing. But yet he's saying, oh, wow. It looks like uh, some of the UK stores over here still are still sitting on a week's worth of <laughs> series series X's. Like they, they show a big pallet, which is probably the same picture that they keep circulating around every time. Yeah. And and it's, and, and I find it weird because when I look at the charts and stuff like that, I'm like, but that's funny because over in Europe, you know, we're stomp you know, Xbox is stomping you. So yeah. so what do you so what are you trying to say? What what you know, you know, I'm 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 an artist. You gotta sometimes help me out with pictures here. You gotta you gotta illustrate stuff to me. What are you trying to what are you trying to say? <laughs> Draw it out yeah. for me. You know, yeah. You know, don't 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 be don't you know don't and, be and, and, about it. They, they, and if they show if let's just say, just to entertain it, that this pallet X number of Xboxes are there, they haven't been sold yet. Maybe they were just put out there. Who knows what the story is, right? Yeah. Um, and people people are yep, just not were, people. Yeah, people just not aware of them yet. Yeah, and they want to use that as the overall blanket definition that xbox is a failure and it's not selling oh look look at this store they have a whole pallet and and nobody's buying them and it's like and what you're defining that one store to be the all and all be all of, of all of xbox not you know being successful or whatever you want to pretend that's that xbox is happening not happening yeah that's how you're supposed to do it yeah that's the professional way yeah <laughs> It's just, it's just dumb. It's just dumb. it never ends. I'm away. I'm away for two weeks, and you know it's all the same. <laughs> you wait. You wait. You wait for two weeks, and everything done fell apart already. The, yeah. wheel, the wheels don't fall. The wheels don't fall off. The lug nuts don't went missing into the grass. That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. It's, it's just. It's just nuts, man. You uh, can't. You can't just but, walk away, Tech. You, you, this is. This is. This yeah. is the commitment. Dude. Well, let me tell you, man. I left. What was it? Last Wednesday for vacation. So a week ago to San Antonio with the family. And I've I'd never set up my email, my work email on my phone, just because I, I know I'll look at it. 
But this sounds like, you know what? We have go live coming up on Tuesday, which is yesterday. Let me set up my email for work. Dude, it was the first day. And I had like 20 unread emails. Gonzalo, can you do this? And of course, I had my automatic response saying, like, I'm not here. You know? And some things, some emails I did answer just because I knew what the answer was and I could take care of it right away. But, uh, but the majority is like, oh, man, um, you know, we need to do this or we need to do that with our program. Oh, the data's not in. It's like, I've been telling you guys for two weeks. I'm going on vacation. If you need anything, it's do it now before I leave. Because other, otherwise, you're going to see me, was it Monday, which is two days ago, afternoon to get this stuff done. That's when I'm available again, after I get off the plane. And, <laughs> and that's, that's how it went. And my, 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 my wife was like, hey, I, I, maybe we should not take in a, a vacation. I was like, don't, they're not going anywhere. It's okay. Well, I don't want you to get in trouble. It's like, I'm not going to get in trouble. It's like, on top of, it's like, on top of that, they tell us to take our vacation. So I'm taking my vacation. <laughs> and, it's like, and it wasn't my idea to, to, to go live during spring break season. So, well, that's that. well, I guess I guess no harm in that. I mean, I guess you had to. I guess it was one of those deals where it's like if you had days, you had to use them or lose them. Yep. And now they gave me an extra week of vacation, so I really got to use them. Um, no, nothing, but, uh, dude, nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. I'm happy about that, man. So, so uh, what else, man? Uh, what else is going on? What else did I miss out? Come on, you didn't tell me that's all we got the last two weeks. Yeah, man, it's been dry. Other, I mean, uh, I mean, besides, uh, you know, seeing uh, fuzzy controllers, I guess oh, some. On, uh, one, 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 one more thing, GT Seven is it successful as everybody says? Yeah, well, this is slam dunk. <laughs> Gran Turismo <laughs> is the definition of sim racing for all platforms, but only on PlayStation, right? It's been a success. I, I love to I love the the support that I that I've been seeing with the 1.6 average user uh, uh, score. It's amazing how you know they support their uh, their exclusive on the pla- on the PlayStation platform, and it, it almost made me shed a tear. Almost, uh, but I was in front of people and I was reading in this. And I, I didn't want to shed a tear in front of people, but uh, <laughs> it sounds like. Gran Turismo 7 is the racing game you want to get. If you have a PlayStation 4 or 5, get it before it sells out because they will sell out the stores because everybody's wanting them. Even here, I went to two stores and I couldn't find them. I couldn't find a copy. Uh, I know people are saying, buy a digital. They sell out digital too, man. There is a limit. So uh, let me tell you, you heard it here first that, yes, there's a digital limit on Gran Turismo 7. Why? Because there's a supply and demand, and demand right now for GT7 is very high. Everybody wants it. Forza has nothing on GT7. You heard it here first. On <laughs> yeah, I guess well, I guess we'll be finding that out in June. <laughs> but um, matter of fact, matter of fact, and the um, servers went down. Right? Are, they, are they still down? That's what you know. What it's funny as you, as as you were talking. That's what I was trying to look up. Oh, okay. And um and see if um if PlayStation if uh PlayStation uh uh was it PlayStation Plus or PlayStation Now's this uh this down? I think it's the whole thing. Because from from what I was like glancing at, that it, it couldn't authenticate that you had like Plus or something like that, and you can't get on the servers. Something like that. Okay, uh, six. Uh, all right, according to this, a few hours ago, apparently they the outage ends. So. Uh, I guess they're back up now. They're back up. It only took like a week for it to come back up. So let's see here. I don't know. I, w- I was speaking to somebody on on, uh, on some thread. It's like if if they had a single point of failure, then that's terrible. They shouldn't have one single point of failure. But then again, I mean, when it comes to their network, their network services, man, it's ne- it's it's never been it's, so- it's never been rock solid. Top shelf, top shelf, man. At Sony, <laughs> I mean, I, I mean, I mean, I know that you know, live, you know, would have it, you know, have its moments, but nothing like this. No, <laughs> no. 
And a lot of times they'll come back and say, what about that one year that everybody was down for a month? And it's like, well, that was everybody. That wasn't just one platform. It was both PlayStation and an Xbox that went down. And I think that was more of a, a DD, DD, whatever it's called, DDS, DDO. Yeah. Yeah, that was it was it was a ma- it was a massive attack. Yeah. And that sucked because <laughs> everybody just got their Xbox <laughs> and their PlayStations. And so all right. Well, all right, let me stop sharing this thing. We'll just do us right now. Let's see. But there's a, I just oh. want to keep it sure. oh, Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh man. no, I was just gonna add that uh, also if uh, none if none of you guys are aware of it, apparently there's a new uh, Marvel perk available to uh, us Game Pass uh, users. What? Where? Yes, exclusive offer: Xbox Game Pass Ultimate members. That's me. And basically, and basically, you get to enjoy three months of free Marvel Unlimited. Oh. So Where's that's that I guess that's <laughs> yeah I guess that's Marvel's own little uh, digital comic service where oh, you just okay. you know yeah where you just you know log in and read the comics digitally because I mean hey who hey who goes out there buying comics in, in, in you know from comic stores anymore you know what what loser actually walks up to a newsstand and say hey give me a copy of that Batman hey, once you got Spider-Man. the new hot copy of Spider Man kid get out of here we only got newspapers yeah. here. Man, they look who at buys you newspapers like, these days? <laughs> <laughs> they look at you like you're some kind of weirdo. So get out of like, here, I, kid. But I look, turtle boy. I don't know which sewer you crawled out from, but you need to go back in there. <laughs> hey, man, don't, don't make me get my ninja friends, my ninja turtle ninjas, ninja turtles. All right, I did have a little bit of drink before I got here, so that's why I'm off with my my words. Oh. <laughs> there is a music festival happening a block away. I'm going to, after we're done with here, I'm going back over there. I'm going to try to go Twitter live and be like, yo, just like I did at the, at the, the Tina, the Tina Wonderlands thing. I went live over oh. there first. Dude, I've oh, been yeah, having man. an interesting two weeks, man. <laughs> You've been all over the place. Yeah. Yeah, I've been having, I've been having an interesting oh, two weeks. Went to San Antonio. Went to the Tina, the Tina party, which was awesome. It was more of a concert. They weren't really doing anything. There was, they were showing screens. I mean, they were showing videos of the game. There was a lot of cosplay, which some of them were like badass. They were good costumes. Um, they had performances by by mainstream bands there, and and each attendee got two free uh, drink tickets. I know it doesn't. I know it doesn't sound like a big deal, but hey, it's two free drinks, right? And while I was wandering around through the Tina Wonderland launch party, I just happened to look down, like this, right? Are you watching? I went like this. Mm-hmm. I looked down, <laughs> and guess what I found on the floor? A fuzzy controller. No, but it wasn't a fuzzy controller. That, that you you end this story right here. <laughs> I found an, a single drink ticket. So I had a third one, man. Woo! Thank you, Gearbox. So, so you, um, so, you, so you mean to tell me that the uh the bar the uh the barkeep wasn't on wasn't one wasn't on his uh P's and Q's and was like, hey, wait a minute. Hey, Haven't you already been here? Huge bars with six bartenders. I went to different <laughs> ones. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I roll, baby. <laughs> Got to different bartenders. He's like, wait, wait, wait a minute. Wasn't you wait, wasn't you over there at the other one? I say, man, don't you worry. I'm still gonna tip you. <laughs> but hey, but look, yeah, man, I, I don't want no trouble. <laughs> I, I wish I would have stayed for the whole thing, but I, I was just worn out because that's that same day as I just got back from San Antonio a couple of hours before going there. And I was just tired of, of driving, so I stayed there at the party for a couple of hours, kind of watched the videos, took some pictures, and came back home. That was it. Yeah, so. yeah, I mean, dude, it's good. It's good to get out there and do some do some uh, gaming events like that and stuff. No, those are fun, man. Yeah, and then Gearbox yeah. is there local in Dallas. And they used to do like a a, a yearly uh, uh, a yearly a kind of community event where you just kind of you come and check out what they got, play some games. They got the we got we got the the video game museum 
in town as well. So sometimes they'll sell up some stuff, some vintage stuff uh, to kind of showcase. Um, so, you know, times I went has been fantastic, but they kind of been, you know, not doing it. Not because of COVID, they just period. Even before COVID, they just stopped doing those community events. And I was like, man, I always email them and say, hey, man, what are you going to do another one, man? It's like, we enjoy it because you're local. Gearbox is local there in Dallas. And, uh, but hopefully there'll be more of this like they did uh, for Tiny, Tiny Tina, Tina Tiny, whatever her name is, uh, Wonderlands. Tiny Tina. And yeah, look- I don't know if you watch some videos, it looks like it's going to be a badass game. So anybody interested in Tina, <laughs> Tina's Wonderland, I think you should consider it. So there's that. All right. Well, that's all I got, man. I know you just got back. You're hungry. We're 40 minutes in. I'll let you go because I'm going to go back to the music festival back here in Idaho, downtown Idaho. I'm in the Hilton Garden Inn in downtown Idaho. Come and say hi. I'm on the first floor in the lobby. If you see me there, say hi. Yeah, hey, hey, whoa, 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 whoa. You shouldn't be giving up them type of details, man. I, hey, <laughs> number. I just said the first floor in the, in the lobby. <laughs> that's, the, that's the closest you'll get to my room. <laughs> and then uh, – and then that's it. I'll be at the festival. So if you don't hear from me uh, any, like tomorrow or anything, then you know what happened. I probably went to jail. So, all right, guys. Oh, hopefully not, man. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. I'm just, I'm just playing. Chatterbox, thank you for coming out as always. I'll talk to you guys later. Fireboss, he needs to go eat because he's hungry, and we're out of here. Peace. Bye.